welcome back to my channel guys uh, it's a beautiful morning and today we are going to be talking about booking tips um, of how to get the cheapest deals to fly out um, once again thank you guys for tuning in thank you uh, if you're new you're returning thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you if you haven't subscribed you know the deal please do subscribe um, I get quite a few questions about this particular uh, topic uh, because I do travel vlogs and I also travel quite often um, I get a question from people how I get my tickets how I get a cheap ticket how I get something pretty reasonable um, so I have a few pointers for you guys who want to um, buy a ticket on a budget you know if you have a certain amount of money and you want to cut, you know cut down costs um, these are just a few things to just a few things to share with you so like I was saying guys uh, so it is a fact that most websites on the internet these days they tend to store your data uh, in the cookies and stuff. In doing that, prices may change when you try to search the same route multiple times. So, for example, you you're going to New York, for example, and you wanna, you know, you key in the date, the time, the route, the airline, and if you keep doing that every single day or every few times, you know. Um, it stores that into the data into the cookies so every time you keep going back they know that okay this person wants um, this route so in doing that they you know try and increase the price um, and make yeah they try and increase the price for you so the best thing to do is to try and try browsing on a different device or somewhere else because that was the mistake I did Think if I'm traveling and I'm looking for a very decent, uh, reasonable price ticket, I tend to regularly search the websites, different websites, especially if you know the website, um, the airline that you want to use, um, you can search. Um, I tend to search quite you know, often to see if the prices drop, if they increase, the best time to travel. Uh, and things like that so I constantly go on the website searching and in doing that obviously the you know accumulate the amount of time I go on there and uh, the routes that I've picked obviously it's the same route because I'm going to a certain place around the same time so every day or every time I go on it gives you a different price so to avoid having a high charge ticket Try and use, you know, different browsers to, you know, search uh, for a flight. I tend to do a lot of research. I tend to, if I know I'm traveling, I'm trying hungrily looking for, you know, a less expensive ticket. That's what I tend to do. I browse a lot. And since finding out that, and I have noticed that when I go back the next day, the prices go up. So, in a way, it is true uh, about that fact. Um, so what I tend to do is, if I want to search the same thing again, um, I use a different, you know, device or a different browser or something like that um, to, you know, search my ticket. So number two is to find the cheapest day to fly out. Um, usually they say that the weekdays are less expensive to fly out. It's not always the case. There are times that I've seen that the week weekends uh, tend to be quite less expensive as well. So it actually depends um, on maybe the airline, the website or whatever and the research that you do. I would recommend you to have a visual view of the whole calendar month and then you can be able to you know identify which day which month is less expensive to travel so for example you go on the website um you can type in the like find a month that you want to go say so april for example um you key in your destination the day that you want to travel at the time or whatever and it will show you it will come up with the whole month which date is cheap which is less expensive which is more expensive and then you can be able to figure out 
okay this is the day that i want because they have high peak uh, seasons as well and i tend to go for the times when it's um not around school time because obviously around uh, when kids are on vacation or holiday that's where the prices boom up you know because everyone will be traveling so they tend to increase the price around the time um i tend to also avoid um like holidays for example say like easter or places that celebrate events and things like that so try and go maybe a few days before um of you know that, that that would also save money as well so say it's december for example don't wait to the last week of december or the last week of christmas before you book your ticket try and book it off peak and you get pretty much half the price so it's more about spending time to research um, to get a really really good bargain um, number three is being flexible with your flight destination as well can save you some money so for example there are tools that can help you locate um, cheaper tickets as well from a different airport uh, so for example if um, your airport is very close to you uh, so you don't have to travel too far but then the ticket is more expensive and then you have another airport which is like a few extra drive from your house and they you know can give you a cheaper ticket maybe that's something to consider you know if you're trying to save money you could go to a different airport that you usually go you know take a uh, travel from um, you could also do a layover as well so you could travel from let's say new york to Colombia, you know columbus and you could um, have a layover over there um, and save money but then you have to do your research how much the hotel costs how much the layover will be is it the same price as the ticket going directly you know these are things that you need to kind of research and figure out um, I tend to like a direct flight. I don't like getting off, hopping off, hopping on kind of thing. I like to just get a direct flight and go. But the airline that I've been taking have to do a transfer and they're pretty decent in ticket wise compared to other places and the services um, are quite good as well. So I've been sticking with them. Um, and usually the transit time isn't that long so you don't have to wait too long but then if you are doing transit and if you usually go directly and expensive and you're trying to save money by booking a transit uh, flight and changing you know hopping onto another plane I would suggest you to make sure you have enough transit time in between from getting off play walking around the airport uh, and hopping on to the next one make sure you do have enough time otherwise guys you're gonna miss your flight and that's gonna cost you extra more money so some of the airports are big they're, they're really massive so let's say Amsterdam for example that airport is huge you could be walking 20 minutes to the next plane the next gate and it takes you forever I almost miss um, a flight some time ago uh, in Amsterdam because I underestimated the time that it would take me to walk to the you know to the airplane and everyone was boarded they were calling me I could hear them calling my name over the intercom and I was running crazily that time I was so unfit and I was breathing so heavily I was sweating like a pig and I almost passed out, I was so dizzy, but then I was thinking, if I don't run, I have to, you know, I'm going to miss this plane, I don't want to pay another ticket. That was one hell of a day, I got on the plane, and everyone was looking at me like, what the freak? Like, I looked a right mess. I, <laughs> it was terrible, I almost just dropped to the floor and just collapsed, it was that bad. I mean, on a serious note, it was really, really bad, so try and make sure you have enough time to connect to your flight, that will save you a lot of headache and a lot of money as well um, layover as well if you're staying at a hotel make sure you have enough time make enough time to come back to the airport to connect uh, on your transit flight to your destination so there's a bunch of stuff that you need to do uh, I mean if you have the money you want to pay a direct fee uh, a ticket please do so but 
some people do want to save the money and budget around what they can afford so this is just to help you guys and also I mean you can do a spontaneous flight you can get up one morning and say you know what um, I want to go here I have the money I want to book usually last minute they say it's they cut the cost down it's expensive but I don't find it that way I tend to find that they're more expensive as a, like a last minute spontaneous booking is more expensive um, so I would recommend that if you do know when you are traveling uh, try and start planning for it rather than maybe last minute so what I tend to do um, which works for me is that say three months six months a year in advance I know that I'm going to travel I tend to start looking researching looking for flights and I guarantee you there are flights and tickets at that time that are really really cheap and decent that you can book uh, obviously when you book way in advance like that companies and websites are trying to attract people to buy uh, the tickets because nobody is thinking about traveling that far in advance you know what I mean so they try and reduce the price for you to be able to book something so when I see a decent ticket and I know that yo this is decent I try at least book it and then maybe nearer the time if something changes I have to change the date or whatever then I you know I change it but it's better to book in advance than wait till last minute so that's what's been working for me and that's what I've, I've been doing uh, making sure you prepare in advance to your research um, a bunch of stuff it does help a lot so another thing is that most airlines allow you uh, allow a refund up to let's say 24 hours after booking so for example if you book a ticket um, and you change your mind don't want to go again you can cancel for free and get your money back or um, another thing that I know that people do is that they book the ticket. Um, some people just are happy with that ticket and not look any further. But then some people do look further. They book the ticket and keep researching, hoping to find a cheaper ticket than the one they bought. And what they do is they cancel that ticket and rebook the ones that are slightly cheaper. Um, if it works for you, that's another thing that you can do. Um, but it's, it's, you know, usually before COVID, pre-COVID, you cancel the ticket, you know, you get the refund pretty quickly, uh, things were a little bit more, you know, I don't know, easier, I guess, but now with COVID, uh, certain things have been, you know, implemented, and now that when you book a ticket, uh, I mean, they're a bit more lenient now, if you book a ticket, you are entitled to get a refund or rebook. Now, getting a refund after cancelling your ticket it will take you weeks, months. It's a whole lot of shenanigans, you know. So if you know that you're cancelling your ticket to rebook, you might as well just rebook rather than get the money back and rebook. Unless you are going to rebook with a different airline. Um, but because of COVID and certain things that have happened, I've been travelling quite a lot. Um, and what they tend to do is they either uh, reschedule you on a different day or they, they put you on a different airline uh, and so they take it out. So it depends who you're flying with. Um, they all have different protoc protocols that they use but um, in terms of getting your money back it will take some time. So I would suggest that you just um, you know try and rebook um there are times when i've booked in advance and then nearer the time end up having to change the date or the times or whatever and in doing that if the price is exactly the same day you know the same as the day that you booked uh, you can do a straight swap just change the day you don't have to pay any extra but if you're booking on a day that is um, slightly more expensive you have to pay the difference the other thing is that um, if the airline cancels your flight you have every right to choose whatever date that you want to travel so even if it's expensive you don't have to pay the difference they cancel it so they have to give you 
a different day that is expensive that you don't have to pay for do you get what i mean but if you're the one changing it you have to pay for the difference that's something that i've you know i've had to experience with uh, when dealing with some of the airlines um if you have an airline that you're happy with at the moment um it's, there's an airline that i i tend to stick with because the prices are just you know insane so i tend to stick with them uh, and book through them because the services are you know i'm happy with it it's not a, a big deal issue um so it's something that i can accommodate that i can deal with um i've had airlines that have kind of messed me up with my luggages and stuff like that so i had to you know just because of the stress i had to look at a different airline and what they can offer me kind of thing so um it, it takes a lot of time and dedication to research to find what you really need um, that would work for you yeah so a bunch of all this booking 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 um, you just need time that even if you book your flights you have the you know the flexibility to be managing your ticket you could we all know this you could update your ticket and change your ticket if you see something cheaper you know you can yeah there's a bunch of things to do but when it comes to really budgeting and saving money i would suggest that you do your research properly it takes a lot of time to compare and find something you know that, that that works for you but for all the times that i've been traveling this is what's been working for me obviously i keep researching and finding other you know cheaper less expensive ways to save money but the best thing that works for me i would say is booking in advance um i tend to i have noticed that there's a couple of days during the weekday that is less expensive but i've traveled at the weekend before as well um so it basically depends on the airline the price that they're offering you sometimes we do deals look out for the deals sometimes also try and subscribe to the newsletters uh, try and join the clubs for example loyalty cards for example uh, they offer a bunch of stuff that you can use to reduce your price so these are things that work for me i hope it works for you too if you guys have any more tips to give me um, you know i welcome you all if you have any more questions please drop in the description box below guys uh and once again thank you so so much for tuning in and clicking on my video and um yeah hope you guys have a good week and i'm gonna see you guys pretty soon all right take care